Hey guys, so I'm starting out with my eyes because I'm using glitter. So I'm priming using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just buffing that in. Well, not buffing, pressing that in with a damp sponge. Then going into my Makeup Geek palette, I am using Mirage and I'm just using an F64 brush to press this into the lids. Then just applying some tape on the corners of my eyes. And then here I'm going into the shade Beaches and Cream and I'm just buffing this into the crease as a transition shade. Then going in with the shade Frappe I believe. Um, all the colours will be listed in order down below if I get any wrong so don't worry. I'm just doing the same thing, just buffing this into the crease. Then using Cocoa Bear which is slightly deeper. Basically just building up all these brown shades into that crease to make it look nice and multi-dimensional. Then I'm taking the shade Morocco which is this beautiful orange and I'm using an E25 brush from Sigma. Just buffing it into the outer corner and then through the crease but trying to sort of keep it off the lid. Then I'm taking this kind of neon orangey shade, I believe it's called Poppy but again it will be down below. And I'm just building that up in the outer corner and then really building it up in the crease so it's nice and brightly orange. Then just using my E40 brush from before, I'm just buffing those edges. And then I'm taking the shade Chickadee and I'm just buffing this with the E40 above where all of those other shades are so it's like a nice transition-y kind of thing. And then I'm taking Americano which is this deep brown and I'm using my E25 again, just building this up along where the tape is and really pressing it into the outer corner. And then I'm picking up the black called Corrupt and I'm just doing the same thing, just really building this up really softly. And then I went back in with Morocco and just used that to basically blend all of those colours out together. Then I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just applying a little dot of that onto both of the eyelids. And then taking an F70 concealer brush. I'm just blending this out so trying to make kind of a sharpish line so that I have space to put the glitter and I'm just using a little bit more of Morocco just to make sure that all of those kind of edges were blended. Then I'm just taking Americano once again and I'm just trying to build that up in the outer corner and just make sure that it's still a little bit more deep in that outer corner than anywhere else. Then I started to put the glitter on and I freaked out and realised I was supposed to do my liquid liner first because it's much easier to put um, liquid liner first than try and put it over glitter. So I just used a Models Prefer Black Liquid Liner, it just created a wing on both eyes. Then I went in with the Stila Glitter and Glow, I think that's what they're called, um, eyeshadow in Diamond Dust and I just applied this to the eyelid where we applied the concealer. And then I just tight lined using a Models Prefer Cold Pencil and applied a coat of this mascara. I'm in love with this mascara. It's a new one from L'Oreal. They sent it over a few weeks ago and I've been loving it ever since. It is seriously so good. Then I just applied the Huda Beauty Samantha number no. 7 lashes. Then moving on to the face, I'm priming using Benefit Pore Professional, so I'm just applying this basically to my whole face. And then the foundation I'm using is the Dior Skin Forever Foundation, and I'm in the shade Linen. And I just used my Real Techniques Damp Sponge to press this all into my skin. I love this foundation, it's seriously one of the nicest ones that I've got, and I definitely think it's worth the price tag. Then to cancel out my under eye circles, I'm using the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer, I think this one's called. Um, this is the shade 2 and it's like a salmon-y colour concealer, so I'm applying some of it using a P82 brush and then just making sure it blends into my foundation with my damp sponge. So yeah, just helps to cancel out those purpley, bluey under eyes that I've got. And then to conceal, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. What is new? It is my favourite. This one's in light sand and I'm just applying it to these areas of my face. All the usual areas that I do in every single video. But I'm just doing that and blending it out using my sponge again. Mm -hmm. 
Then to just conceal around my chin where I have my dermatitis, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer just because it's a darker shade and I don't know, kind of works on my bumpy skin well. So yeah, I use that instead of the Tarte. Then going in with the NYX uh, foundation stick in caramel and usually I would do this before I conceal. I definitely feel like it helps when you do your contour beforehand because you can clean that up with your concealer but I forgot and did it after so what can you do? I used an F57 brush from Sigma to blend it out but I did go in with my sponge a few times just to clean up the line underneath my contour, make sure it was nice and kind of sharp. I was feeling the sharp contour this day. So here I just used my sponge with no additional product and just kind of drug it underneath where the contour is just to make sure it was looking nice and sharp. As I said before, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Then I'm using the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder to set those areas. I picked up some with my sponge as well just to drag it along the underneath of my contour. Then I went in with the Pure Cosmetics uh, Glow Together Bronzer and an F23 brush which is my favourite contour brush at the moment. It's like the quickest but most precise big brush I've ever used. I love it. love it so much. So I'm just applying that to all the usual areas. Then going in with NARS Deep Throat Blush which is one of my all time favourites. I'm applying that with an F40 brush. And then using an oldie but a goodie the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I'm using my favourite highlighter brush which is the F03 brush from Sigma just to apply it to all of the high points of my face and then set everything with the Algena Splash Setting Spray. Then back onto the eyes, I just covered up the lash band using that liquid liner once again. And then for the under eyes, I first went in with Morocco on my E25 brush and just started to buff that underneath the lower lash line. Then taking that other shade, I think it's called Poppy, I don't know. I'm doing the same thing and just building that intensity up. Then just taking my E40 brush, I buffed out the edges before adding some more of that chickadee shade, which is that beautiful, bright, yellowy colour, um, just right on the very lower lash line. Then to highlight my brow bone, I actually used a MAC eyeshadow. This one is called Shroom, um, and I'm using an EO4 little fan brush, which is one of my favourite brushes for the brow bone. I really love it. And then I just took some more of that Stila glitter, applied it to the lower lash line and then went in with an F69 brush just to kind of blend it out and soften it so it wasn't a stark line of glitter. And then back in with Shroom, I just highlighted the inner corners, but you could use the glitter on the inner corners if you wanted. Then finally, I just went back in with Corrupt on an E15 brush and just really pressed this into the lower lash line just to make it look nice and thick. And then I finished off with some black eyeliner in the waterline and a coat of bottom lash mascara. Then onto the lips, I used my favourite nude lip liner which is the Maybelline Nude Whisper. I just love the colour of this so I outlined my lips and then drew a little line in the middle because it's supposed to make them look bigger. I don't know if it works but you know. Then I used the Stila Liquid Lipstick in the shade Angelo which I love this colour. It is stunning. So stunning. And that completed this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.